Yeah, this will Great get a uh, pot of water boiling cool. far quicker than you stove the top. Wow. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So it gets that's the that's the uh, engineering technology of it. Lots of heat and lots of airflow. Creates less time for cooking. So we got a uh, rocket stove that we are cobbing uh, out. Uh, and what the cob does is help gives the rocket stove insulation. And that's what we need for a rocket stove. We want to. Uh, contain as much heat as possible um, and in a rock stove exactly we want to create combustion and turbulence and what that does is uh, no, the maximum combustion creates more heat also and uh, you can. get that by maximum air, airflow air and also uh, turbulence helps to move that air around and heat up even more so uh, those are just probably about upwards of four facets right there to help heat the air and, uh, and basically maximize airflow up into so you your uh, your top stove yeah, space yeah, here mm -hmm. um and That's so the can is uh the key point the key factor and the airflow say if we just had this open space right here uh it doesn't necessarily what i call i don't know if this is the official term for the rocket stove is rocket which is you're hearing that that noise of the of that that flame igniting and heating all of your your uh, wood fuel so if this was just open like this you wouldn't necessarily hear that turbulence too much um but once you put the can in it yeah. maximizes the airflow and it starts sucking and pulling in on all mm -hmm. the air. Yeah, and that's when you get that play. turbulence and that noise. Rock, and uh, and then your rocket stove oh. is rocketing. Here it is. Second layer cob. It has the three part sand, one part clay on this part. And underneath it, this is the four to one with uh, lots of hay. So then we wrap it with the wire, land the three to one. And I'll yes. probably do one coat of this is just to pull in the wire yeah. and then we got some straight beach yeah. sand that we got from the sandstone and that will be our final coat our final layer and uh pretty much be done cans will sit in there like that cob up the can and you'll see the last stage of this very shortly coming hey we got the pre-final stage here uh we got the three to one mix uh, lacquered on here. Um, cans are stuck in. Uh, we're kind of calling it a break for today because it's about to rain and we want to cover this and go eat. So tomorrow we got, like I said, our beach sand uh, that we'll do a mostly clay mix and uh, skim it and put that final coat on there and possibly make this guy into a dragon for uh, artsy fartsy purposes. And uh, yeah, we fingered it to uh, also so that when we put that final skim on there, it sticks better. And uh, that's it.